seven-time Pro Bowler, 2011 NFL Defensive Player of the Year, not one but two-time Super Bowl champion, Terrell Suggs. How are you, Sis? How you doing? How y'all doing? I'm great. It's good to see you. Uh, how you feeling about this win? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the win. <laughs> Boys look really good. Uh, defense plays solid. If it wasn't for the punt return, they probably they probably wouldn't have scored a touchdown. So. It was a good, good, good Baltimore style win. Good, yeah, it's very uh, defensively dominant win. What was your big takeaway from watching that happen? Because it was sort of incredible to see uh, it happen. Uh, zero touchdowns, never allowed a single snap in the red zone. What stood out to you about this defense shutting it down? Um, what stood out is you know the fast start they got out to. You know, what I mean they had kind of they kind of had two weeks off. You know, if you count the bye week and if you count the, you know the last week of the season where. 90% of, you know, the starters didn't play, but they they started really fast. You know, that's kind of a jinx, what having to buy, but um, they, they started fast and they, they hit and they dominated, so. Is it giving you 2012 vibes? Uh, no, it's, it's giving me, you know, 2024 vibes. You know what I mean? I think they, they're writing their own story, try to say, and I think that's a good thing. You know what I mean? They're keeping on with the tradition, but, you know, they're, they, they're, they're, it's, they're more of a, how do I say, they're, they're doing it collectively, you know what I mean, special teams, offense, defense alike. Uh, what is, we're speaking of vibes, what is this vibe? I want, you know, th there was a dominant win, very, like, similar to the Raven style. Uh, did you, can you describe this to me? Can you tell me what this, what you think of this? I don't know, I don't know what Harbs <laughs> is doing. I don't know what Coach is doing, but... It's a good feeling, and, you know, they want to feel like that again. And that's just, you know, momentum is, is pivotal. You know, it's, it's crucial in, 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 you know, in the playoffs in January football. And if you got your head coach, you know what I mean, with that kind of energy, you're going to love it. You got you got you to gotta love that, and you want to feel like that again. Have you seen that before? Did he have that in him on your run? Nah, he didn't. He did, you know, it was our first run, and, you know, we were all on kind of – Pins and needles. Mm. We, we knew we knew it was a job that needed to be done. We knew it was a job that needed to be done. So <laughs> it was more business. Yeah. I love that that didn't even crack a smile on you. I'm like dying laughing at him running around. You're like Harbs. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what you're doing. Sure. Uh, let's talk about Roquan Smith. Huge okay. part of why this defense has played so well. Led the team in tackles. Here's him in the locker room after the game. They are the Texans and they are the Cowboys, but you know I got this hat on, so I'm daddy. What does it say about him, his confidence? I love it. That's definitely a, a Baltimore style quote. You know what I mean? Um, we, we, we have a, you know, our dip, uh, in, in our history, you know, our defensive players have been known to get kind of mouthy and say some things, you know, in the heat of passion. But as long as you go out there and back it up, baby. Suggs, he said, I'm daddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's Absolutely. unbelievable. What's with the Ravens and these props? Like you got you got into that act back in the day, 2017. I Remember did. this? I did. Yeah, I did. That was a, uh, of course, that was a, a an idea, you know, um, uh, you know, brought up by my cousins and everything, and I'll get nervous to do it, but you know, it's the Steelers. You know what I mean? I got to bring out something for the Pittsburgh Steelers as our rival. So, yeah. Uh, we, we the props is good. The props is fun until the NFL finds you for it and then use it in all your their promotional videos. Did you get fined for that? What did you get fined for that? Uh, I don't remember, but it was in the tens. <gasps> yeah, I got fined for that and the gladiator helmet. No, yeah. and then they use yeah. it all. Se that's just that's and then they use it all messy. season in their in their promos. That's messy. Yeah. But then you went on ballers, and they didn't like that, so you got them back. <laughs> so there's that, yeah. <laughs> there's that yeah. whole thing. Um, uh, back to Roquan, though. Can you can you explain to me specifically like what he brings to this Ravens defense? He and Patrick Queen, you and Ray Lewis, people make those comparisons. Like, uh, I love that the leadership he brings, his attitude, his mentality. It's like, you know, it's contagious. It's like, you know, when you know he's got the the defense energized. He's out there ready to go. You know what I mean? The team's ready to go, and they've been playing phenomenal all year under this leadership. It's not just, you know, um, Roquan Smith. Patrick Queen been there every step of the way, too, 
You know what I mean? And, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's unfortunate one guy can get overshadowed by, you know, another guy. But I think the defense collectively, like all those guys, yes, led by Roquan Smith, are playing phenomenal, inspire Ravens football. Will you be at the game this weekend? Yes, I will. Yes, I, I will be at the game. Okay, okay. So if you could go to Lamar and get, you know, there was this whole postseason cloud looming over his head. I think it was important yeah. for him to get the win. Now he gets to be home taking on Patrick Mahomes, who looks good. He's not turning the ball over all of a sudden. What would you tell Lamar about handling his first championship conference action? Just be Lamar. Be Lamar. He don't have to do anything that he hasn't done all year. You know, he led them to get the, you know, the number one seed. In, uh, in the AFC, all he got to do is be Lamar, lead his troops, and they will follow. So to be Lamar Jackson. 2018, your last season with the Ravens, Lamar was a rookie. You were in that locker room. What's the most mm -hmm. impressive part of his evolution as a player, as a leader from then till now? I, I would say, like, not only his ability to, to, you know, to play the quarterback game, despite like his haters and everybody saying, oh, this and that, and everybody's critiquing, you know, uh, MVP, you know what I mean? But I would say, you know, his ability to, to play the quarterback position, but not just that, like his ability to kind of handle the scrutiny or being under the, you know, the microscope. So, and he's handled it like a true professional. And every time somebody doubts him, he just, shows up in ball, man. So, like, I think his, his, his character, you know what I mean, his uh, ability to just kind of, like, be himself, you know what I mean, and and handle all the pressure and all the scrutiny. Mm. It was, a, it was a weird, but there was a lot of heartbreak this weekend. You know, the Bucks, even, you know, the Packers, they almost did it. They only squandered yeah. this big opportunity. You play, you have so much playoff experience. 21, play, you played in 21 playoff games, sis. That's insane. Wow. 21, it's crazy. Four yeah. AFC Championship games. You won two Super Bowls. You've had really great moments. I mean, I just think about your road in 2012 to winning the Super Bowl. You sacking Peyton Manning, one of my favorite moments in the divisional. Remember this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you remember that about this? That was a great this? game. The Mile High Miracle. <laughs> that was a great game, man. That was, uh, Joe played phenomenal. We as a team played phenomenal. We as a defense played phenomenal. It was only a close game because they scored twice on, on special teams. They scored twice on special teams. Mm. Otherwise, we win that game in a landslide. That was uh, you, I Ray, yeah. Ed, yeah, but you're te but you're telling me that 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 team doesn't remind you of this team that that's 2012. This is 2024. What's the biggest defense? Maybe even just defensively. Um, I mean, I think those guys they're writing their own ticket. They're telling mm. their own story. You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas a lot of guys, we were on our back nine. You know, on the way out of our careers, like those guys are just getting started. You know, the Kyle Hamiltons and the the Patrick Queens and the Roquan Smith and, the, you know, all those young DBs they got up there. And I'm, I'm BK. I hope I said his name right. Like, mm -hmm. he's been killing all year, and they're all their young guys. So that's a good sign when, you know, the best play, your best players on your team are your young guys. What could stop them from going to and winning a Super Bowl? Them. See, that's, that's, that's an opponent, too. They, they can't not beat themselves, not, turn, you know, turning over the ball or allow big plays downfield. You know what I mean? It's kind of like at this point, you don't want to overthink it. You don't want to do something uncharacteristic. You know what I mean? I think the biggest opponent the Baltimore Ravens will have to face is themselves. You know what I mean? Of course, the other team's going to line up. They're going to play hard. But, you know, when you have, you know, the championship game on your home field, that's a big – that's a big that's a big advantage. You know what I'm saying? And you've been top dog all year. You've been the best team all year, hands down. All you gotta do is like go and be yourself. Don't beat yourself. Don't beat yourself. And as they host a team you also went on a little Super Bowl run with. Yes. The Chiefs. This is the this is the T Sizzle Super Bowl bowl. These yes. two teams squaring right. up. So you have Mahomes, you have Lamar. It's always about you got two top defenses, two let's not sleep on ninety five and what Sneed's doing, what McDuffie's doing. Uh -huh. Like what does this game come down to in your eyes? Uh I think it's gonna come down to whoever has the ball last. Like it's gonna come down because both of these quarterbacks are capable of of, 
you know, making plays. And both of these defenses are capable of making plays, though. But I think with the advantage, you know, with the game being in Baltimore, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, and Kansas City has been, you know, it's hard to be good for that long. You know, I read the – Something like if this is Patrick Mahomes six straight AFC championship game. Straight. Like that's on LeBron level. You know what I mean? If you think about that, that only person go to the the conference finals more than Patrick Mahomes and LeBron James. So it's like it's like it's 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 gonna be a great game, man. But I think it all it all it ultimately comes down to which defense can make a stop when the other team has you know, the ball last. You played with Mahomes. Yeah. How do you defend LeBron? How would uh, you defend him? How do you him? defend him? Keep him on the sideline. Keep him on the sideline. Have your offense sustaining drives. You know, the longer, the longer, you know, the Ravens have the balls, the longer Patrick Mahomes is on the sideline. So, you know, you don't want to get that guy too many opportunities. Yeah. You don't want to give him too many opportunities to, to break your heart. We've seen, uh, Buffalo scene, like, he can break your heart in 13 seconds. So, um, yeah, keep him on the sideline because at the end of the day, Patrick Mahomes is going to be Patrick Mahomes. And then I look at, and I'm all of a sudden, Kelsey's Kelsey again. How, what, what, yeah. What, uh, uh. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're back to playing good football. The receivers, they've been, you know, they've been on the receivers all year, and now they're catching. I mean, it's a good time to get high. It's a good time to get hot. So we we in for a fight. We in for a fight. I mean, it's going to be good to see us at 3 o'clock on <laughs> Sunday after school, man. You'll be there. You got to get everybody revved up, of course. I don't know what you're doing at the game. I don't know if you're, like, one of the legends. I don't know if you're going to be on the – are you going to be on the field? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm just trying to, like, sneak in the back door because, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little nervous like I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? But no, sucks. If – if, if unfortunate, you know, it doesn't go my way, you know, and and Ravens Nation shall fall. It's not a bad, not a bad team to lose to. Okay, that's a good it, take. It could be worse. Here's what we yeah. need, though. You listen, NFL can't touch you now. You're a retired <laughs> man. They can't find your ass. Like nothing can happen. Right. Where is right. that? Is that Bane mask somewhere in a closet back there? I see a pool table. It's somewhere. Pool. Listen, you need to be in Baltimore. You need that mask on. We got to, like, no, we got to run that back, I think. I know you don't want to compare I've, the two, but give, juice it up a little bit. I've been, I've been getting some, uh, I've been getting some requests on X, you know what I mean? Or, uh, you know, so. Okay. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. We have to see. Suggs in the Bane mask, guys. Who wins the game? We have 10 seconds left. Who wins the game? Uh, Baltimore wins. This uh, they win by the same score. I, I give them twenty four, twenty one. Ravens. Suggs, you're the best. Good luck. Have fun in Baltimore, Bane. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. Bye.